Well, hello there, guys, girls, non-binary people. It's your favorite unsalted cracker. It's Brother Reed here yet again. People with us today, as always, joining back by our sidekick. You guys know him as Box. We also have with us today, we have Alexa. When was you who introduced? Natale Oliveri started bottling carbonated fruit drinks in the mid-1920s. However, when he attempted to bottle a chocolate drink, he found that it would soon spoil. Observing his wife canning fruits and vegetables, he asked her to use the same heat processing techniques with his chocolate drink. Oh, I thought it was going to go on forever. But anyway, guys, now you know. So as always, it looks like it's that time. It's time for another exciting, insane, super official, thought-provoking, straight-edge food product review. If you did only true, 365 day a year food product review. We have, a, we have an item that's been out for a long time, and I was surprised when I saw it. I was like, that's got to be new. And I saw videos of it six years ago. But I've never seen it before. It's the YooHoo candy bar. Check that out, people. It was $2. I picked it up at IGA. So I cannot wait to see what this is all about, people. Milk, chocolate, YooHoo, chocolate in your mouth. What better way to start your, your day than to have chocolate in your mouth? As the ex-wife would say. So as always, guys, remember if you have anything like read the box art selection you gotta leave a comment below. If we like that comment, guys, might just pick it out and review your request next. Thumbnail, it's a big chocolate candy bar. The ex-wife would approve. Woo, woo, woo. Alrighty guys, let's open it up here and see what we got with the you who candy bar. I've heard people call it Yahoo before. But that's the that used to be no Yahoo is the search engine, that's right. But anyway, there's what it looks like. There's no excitement to it. Really, it's just a big, big candy bar. It's a big candy bar, people. Now you gotta realize two dollars for a big one. A big one. Let's just put it all in her mouth, let it melt, and just sit back and take it in. Here we go. Wow. Got a little bit of the Yuho flavor. A little bit. It's good. It's good. Now, that's rather impressive. I will say this. You can taste a little bit of the Yuho flavor. It's like a Yuho mixed with a Hershey's candy bar. Very nice, melts right in your mouth beautifully. Let's take one more little bite of it here. And really just, let's just suck on it. And just really get that flavor. That's nice. I'm rather impressed. Now my favorite chocolate bar of all time would be a, you know, a regular Hershey. When you get the Hershey bar when it's fresh, you know what I'm talking about. This is like a little bit of a watered down version of a Hershey candy bar. Still very good, not bad at all. And it's $2, but again, people, it's no ordinary candy bar. It's big, big and long, but thin, thin. And it's good. So overall, people, it's not the dark. It's more of like a light chocolate, if you can tell. Just like the uh, Yoohoo candy bar. It's not real dark. There you go. If you look at it there. It's good. Can't say a bad thing about it. Now, it doesn't really taste a lot like a Yoohoo. It's got a little bit of a Yoohoo flavor. But overall, I'm going to give it a very solid four stars better than expected i'll say that i was i was expecting this to be kind of out of date and all that stuff i was just worried it wasn't going to taste good the candy was going to be uh you know just not soft and it just melted it melted beautifully in my mouth 
Let's see when the expiration date is on this. That way I'll know if they're actually selling these things. Are they selling good? Let's see. I don't see an expiration date. So I guess these are lifetime candy bars. I see a number here, and I guess that number may mean something, but I don't know what it would mean. I have no idea. 5053173. Let's make sure. So I don't know, people. I don't know what maybe the expiration date would be on the box it was in. But overall, that's a very good candy bar. You cannot beat it. Picked it up at an IGA, and I thought, I was like, oh, this is a new item. And it, it was not. That's first time I've seen it. So that's going to be the official review. I highly recommend it. It's good. It's good. Just imagine like a little bit of a watered-down Hershey Hershey bar. But a little bit of a yoo flavor, too. I was thinking it might have more of a yoo flavor, but just a little bit. I wouldn't say it's a lot. And that's going to be the official review. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Me, the Box Watch 6. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We do a review every day, 365 days. You give that video a thumbs up. There we go. And don't forget. Don't forget something. I forgot what I was going to say. But that's it, people. That's part of when you do the reviews, you know, unedited and unscripted. You just go in raw and hard. Sometimes you mess up, and it's okay. Not everything has to be perfect. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Toodles! But it felt like it was five minutes. So overall, people, does it taste like Reese's peanut butter? It's got the peanut butter flavor, I'll say that. That is for sure. The peanut butter in this is really, really nice. You got two different bats. You've got a chocolate bat, I guess, and you got the peanut butter bat. You can see that. And uh, it's a nice cereal. It is. It's not as good as your Reese's peanut butter cup. 